Today we are going to see how to assemble the fuel pump or plunge that pump. Fuel pump, uh, nothing but a plunger pump. So it is very essential component uh, in car or uh, in the other in internal combustion engines. So a, a fuel pump, uh, the main application of the fuel pump is uh, to feed the fuel from the fuel tank with a high pressure to the fuel injection system. So here you can uh, see uh, the image, uh, 3D image of the fuel pump. So uh, uh, the pump body is transparent. So you can observe the inside components. Here uh, so many components, uh, so many components are there inside the pump body. This one is the pump body outer side part. Uh, so you can observe so many components are there inside. So uh, this one is the rack, uh, uh, transparent one is the pump body. So you can observe the spring at the bottom and spring at the top also. So first of all, uh, we have to know uh, the uh, names of the components. So uh, and here also the transparent view uh, of the fuel pump. So here you can observe uh, easily uh, each and every component. Uh, this one is the pinion so you can observe the uh, grooves which are provided on the pinion so and at the same way so rack also having the grooves so this one is the rack so rack and pinion are in uh, mesh condition so this is the transparent uh, pump body so this one is the spring locator and the spring boot um, and uh, spring top also be there and uh, this is the place we have to place the spring this one is the plunger so and next this one is the spring uh, and delivery wall delivery wall body and plane washer uh, so many parts are there inside the uh, fuel pump body here you can see the fuel pump parts this is the fuel pump body so this is the half sectional front view half sectional side view and top view half sectional front view half sectional uh, side view and this one is the top view this is the part number one pump body and this one is the part number two pump body cap this has to be located on the top of the fuel pump front view so and part number three is the bypass wall this has to be placed uh, horizontally at the location here in the part number one at this location this bypass wall has to be placed at this location of the part number one and this one is the part number four pinion so we have to place the pinion in mesh with the rack this number this one is the c clip part number so eight uh, this one is the c clip part sir clip and this one is the barrel uh, we have to insert this barrel uh, inside the pinion so here you can see uh, observe the inside diameter of the pinion is 13 and here the barrel outside diameter is 13 so these two are matching so we have to insert this barrel inside the pinion so uh, you, you can raise a doubt uh, how much distance we can uh, insert uh, the parallel inside the pinion so uh, this uh, horizontal axis uh, we can observe the hole here on the barrel so that horizontal axis should match with uh, the axis provided here in the front view of the pump body and next uh, this one is the rack part number 13 this is the rack you can observe the number of teeth provided on the rack at uh, 30 mm and part number nine this one is the plunger so uh, it is operated by the cam uh, and the spring so it uh, the spiral provided on the plunger decides the quantity of fluid how much quantity of fluid uh, uh, sends uh, to the injection system uh, the spiral the groove provided on the plunger and part number 10 this is the delivery valve body and part number uh, 11 this is the delivery valve so the delivery valve is surrounded by the delivery valve body part number 10 so here you can observe uh, what is the dimension inside dimension of the delivery valve body 5.5 and uh, also uh, the uh, dimension of uh, the delivery valve is 5.5 so this plus cross section uh, has to be inserted inside the delivery valve body and uh, you can observe the spring locator part number 7 this one is the spring locator so you can observe the inside dimension is 24 uh, and part number 17 spring seat 
ద బూటం దిస్ ఇస్ ద పార్ట్ నెంబర్ సిక్స్టీన్ స్ప్రింగ్ స్టీల్ బూటం సో దిస్ హ్యాస్ టు బి ఇన్సర్టెడ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద స్ప్రింగ్ లొకేటర్ సో యూ కెన్ అబ్జర్వ్ ద ఓవరాల్ డయామీటర్ ఇస్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ దిస్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ డయామీటర్ హ్యాస్ టు బి ఇన్సర్టెడ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద స్ప్రింగ్ లొకేటర్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ అబ్జర్వ్ ద స్ప్రింగ్ హియర్ పార్ట్ నెంబర్ ఫైవ్ హెలికల్ కంప్రెషన్ స్ప్రింగ్ దిస్ స్ప్రింగ్ హ్యాస్ టు బి ఇన్సర్టెడ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద స్ప్రింగ్ లొకేటర్ అండ్ అబవ్ ద స్ప్రింగ్ బూటం so you can observe the overall diameter of the spring is 23 and wire coil diameter is 3 so uh, here you can uh, observe uh, two co- uh, coil diameters here 3 mm and here 3 mm so 23 minus uh, 6 mm so total uh, you can observe 17 mm open space inside the spring so and also uh, here a 16 mm projection is there on spring bottom so spring bottom uh, here you can observe the spring bottom in uh, vertical direction but we have to place in horizontal direction so this 16 mm diameter with uh, uh, this much of uh, length has to be inserted inside the spring and you can observe the spring top also this one is the spring top and if this is also given in vertical direction but we have to place in horizontal direction so you can observe the diameter 23 inside and this one is also 23 so you can place uh, here uh, in this uh, like this position next this one uh, so you can observe the inside dimension of the spring top is 16 mm so for that 16 mm we have to insert pinion so pinion outside diameter is 16 and next uh, this uh, inside dimension is 16 so uh, through that we have to pinion inside uh, the spring top and a uh, spring and next uh, uh, the, so inside diameter is 13 so barrel uh, outside diameter 13 so we have to insert this barrel inside the pinion and next uh, uh, plain washer so what is the out- insert dimension 12 mm and uh, uh, delivery valve so what is the outside dimension of the delivery valve 12 mm so we have to insert this plain washer uh, in the uh delivery valve body so delivery valve body is surrounded by the plain washer and delivery valve is surrounded by the delivery valve body and next uh, uh, this one is the helical compression spring this spring has to be inserted above the delivery valve so this one is the delivery valve it, it has to be placed at the top portion of the uh, pump body here and this one is the pump body cap we have to place it at the top of the pump body so here you can observe m20 and also it is there m20 in the pump body so these two are matching so we have to insert this pump body uh, in this place and this one uh, you have to Uh, here m5 into 0.5 f so here also we can observe m5 uh, bypass pin so this bypass pin has to be placed in this position bypass pin up comes uh, in this place so m5 here also you can observe m5 next a release screw a has to come uh, at at this place so and uh, next c clip so you can observe uh, the diameter of the c clip 32 when open and also here uh, what is the dimension inside of the fuel pump uh, uh, fuel pump is 29 so inside dimension is 29 there is a group provided 1.5 into 1.5 at the bottom so at that uh, group we have to place uh, sir clip or c clip uh, uh, by pressing it uh, so if uh, we press and inserted it it expand inside the groove so uh, the inside parts uh, can be fitted like that so this is the exercise uh, this is only the question uh, we can expect from the uh, end exam so these are the parts and these are the part numbers uh, 
so you can uh, observe uh, uh, without names so this one is the pump body this one is the pump body cap this one is the bypass wall and this one is the pinion this one is the helical compression spring this one is the barrel front view and top view this one is the plunger front view and top view this one is the delivery wall front view and top view this one is the spring top this one is the spring bottom uh, this one is the bypass pin this one is the screw this one is the helical compression spring this is the rack this is the circle part c clip this one is the spring locator this one is the spring uh, sorry uh, the plane washer this is the delivery wall body so these are the uh, parts of uh, total 18 parts so uh, by using uh, this question we have to draw an assembly so uh, look at the question assemble the parts and draw the sectional front view and top view so here uh, they gave uh, only half sectional views and some of uh, some uh, with the uh, uh, complete section sectional view so but we have to draw the uh, sectional front view and top view so uh, let's go to the next slide so this one is the fuel pump uh, body so you can observe so many components inside so here uh, half they gave half sectional view so this one is the rack this one is the pinion they are, are in mesh next you can observe uh, here the spring bottom this one is the spring bottom this one is the spring locator this is the spring locator so this one is the plunger this one is the plunger this is the pinion this one is the pinion so this one is the rack this is also the rack and there is a barrel provided inside the pinion here also barrel provided inside the pinion next this one is the bypass wall this one is the bypass wall this one is the uh, bypass pin and screw uh, and next uh, this one is the uh, delivery wall body delivery wall body and plane washer this one is the plane washer uh, and next uh, this is the delivery wall this is the delivery wall and above that uh, the spring is helical compression spring is provided this one is the spring this is the delivery wall uh, body cap uh, sorry uh, pump body cap this is the pump body cap so uh, you can uh, see the front uh, sectional uh, view and uh, top view here so you can observe uh, the list of the components here and this is the sectional front view and top view this one is the solution so uh, we can come with the names again uh, pump body so uh, this one is the pump body and next uh, pump body cap uh, the port uh, topmost part is the pump body cap next part number three bypass wall uh, this now this one is the bypass wall next part number four pinion this is the pinion provided uh, 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 at the place of the rack so rack and pinion are in mesh next helical compression spring this is the helical compression spring and next uh, barrel this is the barrel this one is the barrel next uh, spring locator this is the spring locator next uh, c clip sir clip provided that the bottom next part number nine plunger center part is the plunger so the spiral provided on the plunger you can observe the spiral provided uh, next uh, delivery wall body part number 10 delivery wall body this one is the delivery wall body so the delivery valve is surrounded by the delivery valve next part is delivery valve part number 11 this one is the delivery valve next part number 12 helical compression spring again this one is the helical compression spring this one is second helical compression spring next uh, the rack uh, this one is the rack part number 13 bypass pin part number uh, 14 bypass pin part number 14 bypass pin and part number 15 air release screw these two uh, will not come because uh, we we drawn a uh, front uh, full sectional view so that's why it will not come next uh, part number 16 spring bottom this one is the spring bottom and spring top uh, this one is the spring top uh, spring top next uh, plane washer plane washer is uh, um, surrounded by delivery wall this one is the plane washer part number 18 so this one is the complete full sectional front view and this one is the top view of a fuel pump the fuel pump has a plunger and barrel a rack is fitted to the pump to engage with a pinion machined on the outside of a sleeve the sleeve fits over the plunger 
and rotates the plunger as the rack is moved. The plunger reciprocates inside the barrel to pressurize the fuel. The plunger has an helical groove cut on its side. The barrel has ports cut on its side. Fuel enters the pump from the supply system through the inlet connection and floods the fuel chamber surrounding the barrel. When the plunger is at the bottom of its stroke, the fuel flows through the barrel ports filling the space. Above the plunger, the vertical slot cut in the plunger and the cutaway area below the plunger helix. As the plunger moves upward, the barrel ports are covered and compression begins. As the plunger continues to move upward, fuel is discharged through the lifted delivery valve into the high pressure pipe. Fuel delivery stops when the plunger helix uncovers the spill port. The fuel spills back to the fuel chamber through the ports. The delivery valve returns to its seat and closes. The quantity of fuel delivered is regulated by the vertical length of the helix where it is in line with the port. The vertical length depends on the plunger position. The plunger position is altered by rotating the plunger. Inlet, you're able to see, is inlet port. Okay, here's the inlet port. Now, and here's another part which is a slot here. Yep. Okay, now we are going to assemble it. Let's start assembly of this fuel tank. First of all, here is a throttle body. Okay, so first, this part of a plunger we have to fit here. Okay, so here is a hole, and here is the inlet port. Here is the inlet port which the fuel comes from here. So we have to fit, and here is the inlet port. We are fitting a <coughs> fitting a pump a fuel pipe here. So we have to align these holes like this and fit. Okay, so we are fitting it. Gently push it inwards and manage it with a screwdriver. The direction of the hole like this. Okay, you are able to see the fuel pump. Now push it inwards slightly loading. Now we are putting a fuel delivery valve. Here is a delivery valve, uh, it is made up of a plus section, here when the pressure is coming from this, here a spring is fitted on the top of this, okay, and when the pressurized fuel press this valve open and from this plus screw the fuel comes here and it goes to the injector. Okay, now we are see how it fits. So we have to clean this surface and push it inwards slightly. Now we are putting a spring. Some tension is there. So and here is another part we have to fit on it on the top of this. First we are fitting these springs here. Okay, and here is a another part we are fitting gently. So we press it in this first stop. We have to fit it correctly and we are torque it afterwards. Okay, then we are fitting this, we have fitted this, and here a hole is there. We have to fit a nut here. So a nut is there. We are able to see a nut. We have to fit this nut in this hole. Okay. I have a nut here. I felt that. Okay. Now I am fitting that nut in this screw. I am fitting it with the help of screwdriver. We have to carefully fit it because we don't have to scratch it. We don't have to scratch this plunger nozzle, plunger. Okay, when we are scratching it, it loses the pressurization of the diesel. Okay. So first, we have assembled the upper part of the fuel pump. So we are going to the downward part. So here is the downward part. First of all, we have to 
fit a throttle lever. Here is a throttle lever. Okay, you are able to see there is throttle lever. A grooves are there, spline grooves. Okay, pinion is there. Okay, rack is there. Sorry, it's a rack. Here is a low tension spring which is fitted like this. Okay, we fitted it. And another washer is there to fit the spring like this. After the speeding, it looks like this. Okay. So here we have to fit this throttle lever here in this hole. We have to see that a small part is coming out. It's a, not a no part is there. So here is we have to fit. So we have to fit this in. Okay, like this and. First of all, we have to align the parts. We are able to see a grooves inside it, spline grooves. So that's the important part, part to align this. So okay, we are aligning it. Uh, this pinion is there. Grooves, spline grooves are there. Horizontal spline grooves. Okay, so we have to fit it in here. With Allen Lee climbing. Here's the last groove, matches the last groove of the throttle. Okay, very carefully. Otherwise, we lose uh, air fuel mixture, or otherwise, the engine didn't start. So, put like this, press inwards. <coughs> okay, so. We have to see it aligns completely. We are able to see it rotates. Okay, it rotates. So now we are putting a high tension spring here. Before we put a washer here, we are putting this washer inside. It gently goes down smoothly. Now we are putting this spring here. Okay, now we have to add a plunger here. So, there's a plunger, a slot is there. You are able to see this machine area, it goes into that machine area of the pinion. So, we have to add another washer here which fitted this plunger like this. Okay, so we are putting it inwards slightly, we don't have to scratch it. Align it very carefully. We're able to see it aligns perfectly. Okay, now we are putting this on this screw like this. Okay, now we are putting pushing push it inward gently. Okay, it press it and check it. It goes down or not. Otherwise, you broke the camshaft of the engine when it does when it even goes inside and pressurize the fuel. There is an, another part you have to cover. Cover it. It covers the plunger and all. So we are putting this okay inside. Another sub clip is there. Here is the sub clip which fits the bottom. Okay. Now we are putting. This sub clip at the bottom gently. We are pushing inside and putting the sub clip here. Okay, sub clip has a great tension, so we have to fit it. Now I fitted it perfectly. We are able to see it goes down. Okay, here we assemble the single cylinder. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe my channel.